Uber Paint is a free new Blender add-on that lets you paint full PBR materials directly onto a mesh using a layer-based setup. If you've ever tried blending things like dirt into concrete or moss, I mean over stone or something, you've probably built a mix shader by hand at some point, but Uber Paint streamlines that process. It works a bit like Photoshop, stacking materials as layers and letting you control where each one appears by painting masks. And since it runs on Blender's native system, you are not tied to anything custom or external. Everything stays editable, exportable, and familiar. The add-on lets you bring your own materials, whether they are for mega scans, polyhaven, or something you build yourself, and then you can stack them. The first one sits at the bottom, the next goes up on top, and so on. You can decide where each one appears by painting marks directly onto the surface of your model. This isn't just texture blending. You are working with full materials like color, roughness, normal, displacement, in addition to the rest. And once your layers are arranged and your mask type is selected, Uber Paint builds a shader that connects everything through Blender's regular note system. And the add-on gives you two options for masking, vortex colors and image textures. Vortex color masks are a solid choice when your mesh has enough geometry, like with terrains, cliffs, or sculpted surfaces. It stores the mask in the mesh itself, so painting is responsive and works in real time, even in cycles. If the model is more low poly or you want finer resolution, you can switch to image masks. Uber Paint generates a blank image at the size that you choose, and you can paint directly onto it using Blender's texture painting tools. White reveals the selected material and black hides it, and everything in between blends through. Once your materials are stacked and your masks are ready, you can hit generate blend material, and it generates the full shader setup for you. If you don't want to paint everything manually, the add-on gives you procedural mask sources. One of the more useful ones is ambient occlusion masking, which places your material in the creases and shadowed areas of the model, which is ideal for things like dirt buildup or moss. There is also a noise mask, which spreads the material across the surface in a randomized pattern. That's good for natural variation, gravel, dust, leaves, and similar things. You also got displacement blending, which uses the height map from your top material to shape how it blends with the layer beneath. So instead of fading evenly, it follows the surface detail, making the transition feel more natural. And for decals and overlays, there is support for opacity masks, so anything with transparency, like stickers or stains, can blend in cleanly. And you're not locked in once the shader is created. Each material layer has an edit button that opens its node group. You can exchange textures, tweak values, or swap maps. Just remember to hit the update group button to apply your changes, and there is no live updating yet. If you modify the material stack by adding or removing layers, you will also need to click update blend material to rebuild the shader. It is a quick step, but easy to overlook if you are jumping between tasks. On a side note, Uber Paint's interface is pretty lean. It doesn't walk you through each step, but if you've worked with Blender's painting or masking tools before, it's pretty easy to get used to. It doesn't come with presets or smart materials, it just works with whatever you bring in. There is also a setting called Goofy Insults, which funny enough, throws out random jokes if you make a mistake. It is optional, and clearly not meant to be taken seriously. Occasionally, however, there are minor bugs, usually when generating the blend material and sometimes it won't compile in a good way, or materials don't show up. Rebuilding usually fixes that, but the thing to remember is that this thing in its early development, so those kind of things are kind of expected, and also they will be ironed out in future updates. Uber Paint isn't a tool trying to replace external painters or overhaul Blender's material system. What it does is simply one very specific thing. Layering and painting multiple materials across a surface without setting everything up manually. So if you work in environments or need to blend materials often, it can help you focus more on how things look and less on wiring everything together. And because it is using Blender's built-in systems, you are free to bake, export, or modify everything later without any compatibility issues. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.